Suey Zero TWG again. Uh, the name's Tim, and I'm an amateur radio operator based in the south coast of England. Well, my latest project, I've uh, been meaning to do it for quite a while actually. Um, been looking to use 40 meters more portable. It's a funny band, port uh, 40 meters, because, um, well, the length of antenna that you need. Uh, a few weeks ago, I did a review on the high end fed, um, uh, end fed half wave antenna, you may have seen it, and it worked really, really well. Uh, it's a uh, 40 foot long antenna, end fed half wave. So it's a full half wave on 20, uh, a full wave on 10. And uh, 40 worked really well. Uh, it's obviously compromised because it's not a full uh, half wavelength on 40. There's a loading coil. Uh, still means it's a good antenna and I've really enjoyed using it, including on 40. But I've been looking to try, if possible, to improve a little bit on my 40 meter performance uh, when working portable. And also, and this is where it gets complicated, to try and reduce the footprint. Because if you're going to put up a full half wavelength on 40 metres, well, that's a 66 foot long antenna. Now, it's not going to be a vertical. So you're either looking at a um, probably an inverted V if you're going portable, or perhaps you're looking at an inverted L. Either way, you're looking at taking up a fair bit of space. What I've tried to do is, is build a, a vertical now, if you build a vertical antenna, which is a quarter wave, then on 40 meters, you're looking at a 33 foot long element. But uh, if you're looking at a ground mounted quarter wave where the radials and you'll need those are on the ground, uh, that gives you more options because you don't need to have tuned radials if you're using ground mounted radials. If your radials are starting up in the air and they're drooping down, they need to be tuned. And in this case, they need to be 33 feet in length, which takes us back to square one in terms of the space. So I've tried to do this. I've tried to go for the ground mounted option. And uh, there's plenty of stuff online, most notably in the last year or so, DX Commander. Though a lot of you are probably uh, subscribed to Callum's uh, channel. Uh, I am too. And that's where I got the idea from, the sense that you don't need to have 33 foot long quarter wave radials on 40 meters. You can have more shorter radials, and that's what I'm doing. Additionally, and again, I got this idea partly through him and partly from another website. I'm looking to try and reduce the length of the vertical element. So instead of 33 foot, can we go shorter? You'd think not, but of course you can if you do something called linear loading. Now, in this case, this means that you're reducing the height of the of the vertical by folding the wire back down. So in this case, for 40 meters, and the rule of thumb is the same actually for most frequencies, you're looking at reducing the, the length of the vertical element by about 30%. In this case, 33 feet becomes 23 feet, or 10 meters becomes 7 meters to make it easier. Now, how do you do that? Well, you can... Uh, just put a wire up, a single wire up, move it across to a, an insulator which is attached to the pole and bring it down. And you then adjust the SWR, first of all putting the radials in place because they will affect the SWR. The more radials you have, the longer the antenna. So have your radials down and then adjust the, uh, the length of the wire coming back down for your SWR. So you trim it at the bottom, trim it and trim it until you get the SWR that you need. Now the only caveat to this is that ground mounted vertical antennas will have different soil, they'll have different things around them, so the SWR will vary a little bit, so be prepared for that. But don't forget, a bandwidth, uh, an SWR of 2 to 1 is entirely okay. Don't shoot for the moon with these antennas. And in fact, if you have an SWR which is flat with a ground mounted vertical, you've probably not got enough radials down and you've probably got a lot of ground loss. Enough of that. So, how was I going to get the wire up and down? I had a brainwave. I've got lots of scrap 300 ohm uh, ladder line or ribbon line, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I decided to come across with the idea where I would feed one of the wires, because don't forget there's two wires going up uh, the ladder line, okay? So one of the wires I'd feed into the uh, the antenna, uh, the, the radial plate, I should say, and uh, there'll be a ballon involved. I'll explain all this in a minute. The other one will be the one coming back down. But of course, what I needed to do is to short the two wires together at the top of the antenna. Just twist them, just, just twist them together. That's all I did, uh, because this is really a prototype to see if this this idea works. So, um, yeah, did that. Shorted the top, 
the uh, other element came back down and just cut and cut and cut with the radials down did all this at home and i'll show you in a minute uh to get the swr down to a reasonable figure and it, it, it came down okay um what i got i've got a couple of these really small little one-to-one -one current balance which i got from a place called ham goodies online they're only about 15 pounds uh but they're great they do uh they they basically work from about seven megs up to about 30 megs so that will do for 40 meters so I've got uh, one of those. So I put the antenna into the into one of those two uh, two connections, and then I have a little tiny jumper going to my radial plate. And you're going to laugh at this. The radial plate is purely homemade. It's made with builder's band, which I've literally put into a circle. <laughs> I've connected the two bits uh, using a, uh, a screw and a wing nut. And because they've got pre uh, pre-punched holes in, in the builder's band for M4 and M6 size screws and nuts. Effectively, you've got a ready-made radial plate. So put your radials together, four connectors, in it goes, job done. I use really cheap speaker wire for the, uh, for the radials, really cheap stuff, about £10 for 100 metres. And of course, you've got 200 metres of wire because there's two pieces of wire together, you see. So um, I unstripped those and then put them together in the same fork connector. I managed to get about six wires into each fork connector. Each wire was two and a half meters in length. So with four of those attached, I've got 60 meters of radial wire on the ground. That's about six quarter wave radials for 40 meters. Not brilliant, but it'll be okay because my operating position was right next to the sea. And I'm hoping that that was going to help as well. Enough about that. I'm going to show you some pictures of the build and what it looked like at home. <laughs> Don't laugh too much, okay? And then uh, a bit of footage of how it went when I operated. The band that evening was very, very staticky. It was very noisy. It was between S6 and S8 of static. It wasn't just where I was. I have a friend uh, up in the Midlands who confirmed the same thing as well when he was operating exactly the same time portable in an RF quiet location. So clearly 40 was as it can be in the evenings, pretty noisy and pretty lively. So I didn't work any DX contacts, which is kind of what I wanted to do with it, but I've worked quite a few contacts in Europe on 40 metres. All the signal reports I have are really strong, so that's really good. Um, and what's more, I didn't put all the radials down. There wasn't a lot of space, so I only put about uh, 30 metres of radials down. Only three ground, you know, three quarter waves of radials ground mounted. Shouldn't really work well, but it seemed to do okay. Enough about me rabbiting on then with the idea. See what you think. I'll show you a bit about the uh, initial construction and then we'll wrap up at the end. Thank you. Okay, so this is the radial, bait, uh, radial plate even made out of builder's band. As you can see, very rustic. Uh, the little ballon, these are great little one-to-one -one ballons. Uh, as you can see there with a the BNC. There she is with the radials laid down on the, on the grass at home. Uh, all the radials down there made of speaker wire. Just twisted the ends together to short it so you don't have one electrical connection going up and down. And on the right, you can see where I've chopped back the uh, one of the wires there in the, in the ladder line just to try and trim it for SWR. And there's all the stuff together in the box and the equipment which I'm taking to work portable. And we'll see how it goes. And here we are. Here's the pole strapped. Everything ready with the radials there. Not many down as, as I would have liked. There's the uh, the builder's band, and there's the antenna up the pole, seven meters in height. And uh, just beyond that wall there is the sea. So let's just see how she does. To Echo Zero, Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. To Echo Zero, Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. Yeah, okay, many stations calling, so sir, thank you very much. To Two Echo Zero, to Two Echo Zero again, please. Thank you, To Echo Zero, Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. Good evening, uh, you're 5-9, pretty strong here in the mobile. My name is uh, Stefan, 
Yes, good evening, Stefan. Uh, congratulations on your mobile activation, my friend. You're also five and nine. The name is Tim, Tango India Mike. Tim is my name, located on the south coast of England and running 50 watts into a shortened quarter wave vertical antenna. And I'm right by the south coast of England, around 20 meters from the sea, QSL. Two Echo Zero, Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. Roger, thank you for that nice one, and uh, see you soon again. Two E Zero or something, come again. Thank you, it's Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. Good evening. A TWG Portable, you're 20 over. Big signal, my name is Hannes, I'm your Stuttgart over. Yes, Hannes, you're also plus 20 over. Great signal. The name is Tim, Tango India Mike. Using 50 watts, I'm by the sea on the south coast of England, running a shortened quarterway vertical for 40 metres, QSL. Uh, absolutely incredible. So you can you see what you can do with 50 watts and uh, vertical at, at the right place. I, I, Tim, so, uh, I'm using a six element vertical and uh, 500 watts. Tim, have fun and see you soon to your TWGP DK one and out. Thank you. Take care, Hannes. Great to work you, my friend. 73. Oscar November 7, Zulu, Mexico. Oscar November 7, Zulu, Mexico. I've got your call. Uh, no problem, you're 5 and 9. Great signal. The name is Tim, Tango India Mike, QSL. Okay, Tim, okay, no problem. It's over. Good evening. This is 2 Echo Zero, Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. Is this frequency in use now? Oh, thank you. I think you were just holding the frequency, sir. I, are you clear? I don't wish to jump in. No, no, you can keep it. You can keep it the frequency, OK? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, a good evening to you. Thank you. OK, good evening to you. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, CQ40, CQ40 metres. This is 2 Echo Zero Tango Whiskey Golf Portable. Uh, 2 Echo Zero Tango Whiskey Golf Portable calling CQ40, CQ40 and standing by. Mike India 6, Oscar Lima Japan, good evening, great to work Northern Ireland, uh, you are 5 and 7 to me and the name is Tim, Tango India Mike QSL. Yes, yourself, Tim. I just happened to be uh, off this one, I uh, listened to that gentleman and uh, heard you coming in, your, your, your report is 5 and 9, you're 59 into the city of Belfast, the name is John, Juliet Oscar Hotel, November yeah, QSL, John, no problem. You're peaking at the five and nine yourself now. It's a very noisy band this evening, John. I don't know what it's like with you. But... So there you go. Uh, overall, a good night. Really enjoyed it. Um, what I may, may well do is to perhaps uh, tidy up the construction. I've got some 450 ohm ladder line, which I think might be a little tidier to use, a bit better, easier to, uh, to put together. So I might do that. The spacing is a bit wider with the 450 ohm. It might make the antenna um, the need to be a bit shorter, which would be good because the, the the 300 ohm does go onto the floor a little bit. So some teething troubles there. But uh, hey, overall, I made a resonant antenna which was short. Doesn't take doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, about uh, eight foot either sides or 16 feet of space. Uh, pretty short, seven meter pole, all for 40 meters. It can't be bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like, share, subscribe, put some comments down, constructive or otherwise. I don't mind. I'm a big boy. Let me know how it all how it was for you. And thanks for watching. This is 2E0TWG wishing you 73 and uh, enjoy your radio. Bye.